Summer is the most popular time in Canada to get married, with 25% of Canadian brides being married in the month of August. But regardless of what time of year you get married, you should always consider your flowers and bring in a personal touch. So we're here with Tamar from Tamar's Trends, and she's graciously brought us into a venue before the flowers are all set. So Tamar, the non-traditional venues are becoming more um, popular. Can you describe this one we're at today? Well, this is the mill market, what they've referred to as the machine shop, and it's a beautiful new location here in the Sioux um, for us to entertain weddings for all kinds of venues. Um, this one in particular, it's a non-traditional setting for an actual wedding to take place and as you can see when you look around it's set up like a traditional wedding and there's going to be florals but the actual venue itself is something that people haven't seen before here in the Sioux. Now your beautiful bride has let us see her bouquet before the wedding. Can you describe the style that she's chosen? Well she wanted something very romantic, simple, elegant and I think we've captured that for her. Um, she did bring me in a picture of something that she liked um, and then we kind of got to embellish on that in our own way. Can you describe the flowers, um, the style, that it's like a little bit of a blush color? That is the most popular color this year is an antique rose, a blush color. It's a difficult color to get because blush means something different to everyone. It can have a pink undertone, it can have a peach undertone. So in this particular case, she wanted very wide open roses. Uh, many of our brides are asking for peonies, but they're very seasonal, available only in May and June. So in this case, because we're into the er later part of June and early part of July, we're going to go for a bigger garden rose, which is in season now, so it kind of mimics that same shape um, because the bigger roses make that very romantic, warm, kind of lovely feeling. What other flowers are you using today in the decorations? We're doing a variety of whites. Uh, on the tables, the bride has um, selected her own vaseware, so for me, it's a great opportunity to be creative. So we're doing all kinds of different white flowers. So we're using David Austin roses, which are fantastic. They're very delicate, they're very special, and you would only generally see them in a wedding venue. Um, these are going to open very wide and, and be almost like what you saw in your grandmother's garden when you were growing up, and they actually smell like a real wild wild rose which is unbelievable. Now do you have any advice for brides um, bringing information to their florist? You have to know what you're looking at when you look at a bouquet. Rather than looking at it and saying, oh, that's really pretty, I love it, you need to say, okay, I like this about it. So it's got big, wide open flowers. That's educational for me, so I know that you like that. This one has texture to it because it has different size flowers in it. So for me, I get to say, okay, she's okay with different sizes. They don't all have to be one. Do you like greenery around the outside or not? Do you like greenery in the middle? Do you like tone on tone? Do you like monotone? These are things that rather than just looking at specific, oh that's nice, <laughs> it makes it easier for me to say okay I know my bride, I know in this case Lauren loves this and she will be honored when she receives it. What are some ways that a bride can bring personal t touches into their wedding? Um, they can do all kinds of things. Um, adding little uh, lockets that they might be from a grandmother. Um, there's something borrowed, something blue. They can bring that into me. I can tie that where people can see it or that it's just for them to see. We also do a lot of embellishments with little diamond picks, um, pearl pins, that kind of thing. We set them in the centers of the roses or whatever flower that we're using. Those things can just make it their own. Um, brooches are really popular as well. Uh, you may have seen an all brooch bouquet. I prefer brooches in with flowers and that way you get a little bit of both. Um, so in this particular case, the bride and groom had a really great idea of collecting vases. So the bride's mother went to all of her friends and family and said, could you please give us those vases that you have under your kitchen sink? And so they collected them all, cleaned them all, washed them, and delivered them to the bride's mom's house. And then they now have all of 200 vases that I have to fill with flowers. And it will be unique for this lovely couple. So this year, if you're planning a wedding, you might want to keep these tips from Tamar in mind. For Go Sault Ste. Marie, I'm Ann Gordonaire.